Hi, this is Rahul Kapoor and are you listening? Well, that's the topic that I'm going to be discussing with you today. We're living in a world where the quality of communication is deteriorating and conflicts are forever rising. People come and ask me this question, what is that one big solution to this problem? And I often tell them that don't look for big solutions, but look at something which is really small, but yet which deserves tremendous amount of attention. And that is the art of listening. Listening really means hearing to something with thoughtful attention. Listening often is the only thing that's important for us to build great relationships. Listening often is the only thing we need to help someone out. And listening often is the only thing that can help us resolve conflicts. But then why do people go wrong in such a simple act of listening? The well, three common and important mistakes people make are number one, we are too distracted. Number two, we are impatient. Number three, we get involved in selective listening. All these three leaves the other person with the thought that he or she is not really understood. And that is the beginning point of misunderstandings, communication gaps, conflicts as well. Now, what's the solution to all this? Well, simple as it may sound, but difficult for you to practice. Nevertheless, let's attempt it any which way today. Number one, pay attention to your body language. Yes, it's your body language as a listener. Ensure this that you have proper eye contact. Make sure that your body is leaning forward so that it gives you the feeling and gives the other person the feeling that you're attentive. Have appropriate facial expressions so that you know there is a connect that you establish between yourself and the speaker. Number two, rephrase and paraphrase as often as you can so that you know this that you've lost out on no information. And finally, ask appropriate questions so that you can move forward from the point of the conflict to the point of solution or from the point of hearing the person to helping him resolve that conflict. It's as simple as it can be. Remember, some concluding thoughts. If you really want to show respect to the other person, there is no better way than to leave him with the feeling that he is heard and he is been listened to. And finally, in the words of Alfred Brendel, the word listen has exactly the same letters as the word silent. And I think that could be a great start point to build great conversations. This is Rahul Kapoor. Until the next time, you please take care of yourselves and ensure that you indulge yourself in the beautiful art of listening.